love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. It's uh, story time again, and I got Mickey and Minnie, and they're jumping, and they're happy. Yay, it's story time, so come on over, everybody else, because it's time for a story about love. And our love is the carpenter of the ages who has created us. He is love. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. That means every single person on earth that has their love light on. And that means all mankind. Uh, Jeremiah 31 says, uh, I am the Lord God of all mankind. Jeremiah 32, 27. Pardon. But one thing for sure, it's a time of celebration and love is alive. So enjoy this reading. Please subscribe. And come again and put on your uh, nice hat. I got the, my, I haven't got my wings yet, but I got my halo on. So get your halo on, because it's time to celebrate love. And we are children of love. We, we will start showing some, show some love. Oh boy, what a day. It's time for his love to be poured over all flesh, that's for sure. It transcends all religion all faith and it is the fulfillment of Hebrews 8 that religion would be obsolete in the end Jeremiah 1:10 and Haggai 2 2 said the same thing that God would tear down all the kingdoms of man's faith read it believers in the Lord of love will abide and pass through his latter days refiners fire foretold through the messages that I am now bringing so that it is foretold in the book of Malachi so that his people may be purified thereby intellectually so let the jubilee of love now begin for as gold loses its dross so also shall all, all enlightened people be able to cast away all of their former sorrows as their perfect love casts out fear and that will be a time when they will finally meet our Messiah down the road coming soon if we will work on the restoration that he demands of us in Acts 3.21. And uh, he sh shall soon come forth on winds of utter blessedness. So be ready to receive him, but his own word of the Kingdom Age Covenant of Jeremiah 31, verse 33 to 35, totally understood and revealed as the Kingdom Age Covenant, it comes to straighten out his own path with no invalid insertions like you gotta do something or, or believe in something. It has been the inheritance of all children of love because those who love walk with the Spirit and are under no condemnation that's what walking with the Spirit means, is walking with your love light on. That's why Jesus said, you know, you got to be as little children again to be born again. So what's born again? Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. Uh, 1 John 4, 7 is utterly literal. It means that born again, flame on, be a person of love. This is the religion of John 10, 16, the one world religion of love. And it arises, everybody love everybody. Will Ferrell started it in his movie, uh, um, semi-pro <laughs> and make sure you check out my Will Ferrell uh, video it's funny many blessings shall now wash right over Israel like a tsunami of his peace and his love may the love of our Lord of love evermore be upon you O chosen people of Zion and I'm speaking actually directly to all the spiritual Israel and at the same time, a dual prophecy directly to the people of Israel that occupy that land, that promised land. And uh, the Lord says uh, that he, he is there beneath them to, to uphold them. And he's around them to embrace them. And through you, he says, I will cause uh, repentance as he whispers. And he is whispering now to all of Israel, I love you my chosen race unto the 12 tribes of Israel. He, he says this. So may Elohim also go before you, O Israel, to guide you, to uh, protect you, and to uh, be beside you as, as well as within you in order to make all of your people ready 
for the great changes that are coming upon the wings of the Lord God's dove of the ages, the fullness of Gentiles from Romans 11. All of Israel is saved now because of the covenant it has been given by the latter-day message, messenger of Malachi 3.1. And it comes from the dove of love that the Lord sends by his message. And it comes uh, to bring a message of world peace for all to obey. So may Jehovah said canoe our righteousness additionally reward Israel uh, with the joy, the peace, uh, and uh, the, the tranquility that the world could never give, nor could they ever take away. So learn the parable of the learned fish. This is a, 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 about salvation from God, our gift. And he's a, not a, 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 he gives gifts without repentance, the word says. So let all those hungry for the things of the Lord ponder this parable. And it came to pass uh, that the fishes of a certain river talked to one another saying, they tell us that our life and being is from the water. And we have never seen some water. We, we know not water what it is. Then some among them, the wiser than the rest, said this. They said, we have heard there is a wise and learned fish dwelling in the sea who knows all things. So let us journey to him and ask him to show us what water is. So several of them went out to, to find this great and wise fish. And they came to the sea wherein that uh, wise fish lived. And they asked him their question. And when the wise one heard, he laughed and he said, Oh, you foolish fish that consider not, but wise are you, the few who seek. In the water you live and move and have your being. From the water you come to the water you return. You live in water and you know it not. They live in love and know it not. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. They might not know his name. But if their love light is on, they're no different than the stupid fish. Therefore, I, Daniel of Windsor, the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who arises as my fate of becoming the last Elijah of this world, I now say to many, show us God. Show us God in your hearts. You can't show God to no one, though. Because he's in all things. He's in all things good and he's in all things bad. We are all bad and we are all good. Religion has never changed that. It's just been a band-aid to brainwash us into thinking that some were better than the others. <laughs> vanity of men, vanity of vanity, saith the preacher. So now it's time for the dove's sweet honey, sweetest honey, sweet, sweet, sweet honey for Israel. Now shall all the hills around the promised land begin flowing with milk and honey amidst chaos. For the prophesied end of the time of the fullness of Gentiles is now, and Judah may now arise. Love calls unto love, while beseeching every ear that can hear as this word of his undying loyalty sweeps over the horizon while endlessly resonating all throughout the internet. One of these days, some of my uh, true words of love are going to go viral. So let all the poor see that words of God's praise are their fortune, that no man can steal away. There's nothing better because as we focus on him, we get better. He, his word heals us and we become thankful people and we have prosperous lives by having a correct attitude towards our maker. And every prayerful word of worship exalting him is priceless to everyone's spirits and rich unto everyone's ears, whether they want to believe it or not. And if they don't believe it, it's because they've had their, twi their religion twisted real bad and their merds are all mixed up. It's time for the restoration of truth and love. And the spirit of truth is coming to lead us into all truth. That the kingdom age covenant has always been invalid where it is because it is the kingdom age covenant and God arises to shut up the mouths of arguing people the Christians and Islam was he wasn't he was he wasn't he was he it don't matter because he himself is now offering ignorance with some understanding that he's loved anyway and he says and now no one shall need to be taught of him anymore 
the least from the greatest shall be as the fish, and we're going to know they get life from <laughs> the water. And he is the living water that pours out his blood now on all flesh. Even the angels are rejoicing at hearing such invaluable words of his magnification. It puts a big smile on my face. And as the sensational love of Jehovah Ra shows itself blooming like a fragrant lily of the valley, it showcases its dogmatic strength. And that good shepherd of shepherds shall also now show his loving dedication to be most assuredly fair and extremely gracious to all men that have their love light on. And he'll even be loving to those that don't. Moreover, his blooming mercy, charity, and adoration unto all those worshiping him in the truth of love shall additionally become as the beauty of the flowers of Ophir, which petals are as gold as the crowns of holiness that all true believers will someday receive if they keep their love lights on. Hide it not under a bushel. Let God open up petals of amazement. And as the blooms of his everlasting love opens, its intoxicating aroma of passion's greatest delight shall evermore be increasing ever upwards, for his love is most beautiful from age to age in the hearts of all those prepared, where the roots of his unwavering adoration always go far deeper than shallow ever was before. So true. Blessed likewise are all seekers of his blooming desire to share intimacy that brings forth oneness and love with him as he in turn calls out to all of his beloved in the kind of silence that only angels could hear. Watch the video called Apocalypse. It is finished by House of Beloved to come to understand the fullness of what I am saying. Shiasa, one of the Kingdom Age teachers. Let all men now raise up their heads. Hearken now, O children of our King of the Ages, for his adoration of thee shall become loud as his hosts blow seven trumpets of joy before the so far of Jerusalem uh, watchmen as they call Israel to the wildest throes of jubilee over their, their third temple's reopening. It shall come to pass soon by the branch of God. And his picture is on the third temple coin of the Sanhedrin. Look it up. I know who it is, do you? He's a real estate guy. Yea, and amen shall be the cry of the people of Israel as they lift up their voices as blaring trumpets of love. Then shall the Almighty allow his fervor for his beloved children to explode as a supernova, so great signs of his beneficence might be seen above by all men with eyes to see and ears to hear. So let the just grow in their faith of love. For those who love are born of God and know God because God is love, thereby making all religion obsolete. It is the desolate heritages that Isaiah 49, 8 accurately foretold. It is the mystery of the sower overtaking the reaper of Amos 9. And I am the end time guy that Moses said that all not heeding my voice in Deuteronomy 18, 18 would have nothing but death ahead. And he wasn't talking spiritual death. It's a physical death. The, Jesus said it best. He said, you show whatever you call him, that unless the age of grace was cut short by the new kingdom age starting or the no flood could survive. That is why intellectually I have given it in a video called uh, The Prophetic Word of Joel Osteen. Last 15 minutes, check it out. It's, it's not a video. It, it is history. I am Elijah. So our hearts need to call unto his heart, to our beloved's heart. And in that nearing day, so shall it be that the love of Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over us, will addition additionally blossom and mirror the growth of thriving plants, continually growing and constantly extending its uh, palms and branches while doubling every season in its glorious clusters and perfumes. As frankincense, as frankincense to us is his overflowing care 
which he extends over believers as a good covering. Therefore the love of our Lord is as a thick bark, which the very worst storms could never weather or wear down. And his very best blessings overflow on every soul bending their knees unto him. They shall be as leaves of his fathomless mercy, charity, and uh, adoration that will never fall over wanting hearts, where they shall become as the purity of life within all of the days of their lives. For if they open up their hands to receive his best blessings that he sends during the kingdom age, love shall overflow them and great prosperity shall be ahead for followers of the way of love. Everything was over-spiritualized. Mankind became enemies to each other wrongly. Truth is that the restoration of uh, Elijah, Matthew 17, 11, is such that the words from Tower of Babel come again. Everything goes back to ground. Because God says there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that we can be kept from if we stand together. He is the victor of victors and we are the overcomer of overcomers as we arise in love. He is our everlasting father and he is showing us the light of unity. The unity that he prayed for in Gethsemane is now. I ask you for it to begin loving your brothers of all religions the same as they were your own. For religion has been nothing but a stumbling block to, to create division amongst a world of people who are isolating themselves against all others because of fear. This has always been born of fear. It is time not to fear no more. For there is nothing really to fear of love. Sure, if we don't obey his voice, we're not going to have productive, good, prosperous lives like we would otherwise. But one thing's for sure, as long as we keep our love light on, he says, I forgive your iniquity, I won't remember it. His judgment day is coming, but it's going to be one, one of rewards for our obedience to his gentle voice of life. When you love, when you come, just as you are. You don't have to believe nothing or do nothing. Just let your love light shine. Amen. And pass the ammunition. If only potato chips could be loved. We could pass them all around. We could have a big, have, have a party. Time for the jubilee. The celebration is upon us. The words of the prophecy of Smith Wigglesworth. Worth. <laughs> uh, check that out. Google it. It's on YouTube.